The Mixed Mornings and More podcast with Steph and Sean. Now available daily. Good morning, world. Good morning. Happy Friday. What do we got? It is, uh, is it October? It is October. <laughs> wow. I feel like you say that every morning. You're like, wow, it's still October. It's already yeah. October again. See, <laughs> what happens here is I look at the number of the month and I'm like, it's the 10th month. What one is that? I'm like, well, obviously it's the same one as yesterday. Uh, October <laughs> 14th. It's a Friday. How the heck are you? We're doing great over here. Oh, yeah. We're having a good morning so far. I don't even know if I can call it a Friday yet. I think I need mm. a few minutes. <laughs> wow. Even you can't call it a Friday. <laughs> well, Sean, I almost missed our show today like thanks for making us five minutes late so i could yeah. be here for our first you break, literally but... just walked in the door i was about to go on by myself i know and i would love to say that i just slept in and so i'm just harried this morning but instead i have to say that another one of my vehicles broke down on my way to work and i had to be rescued by my husband your tr- so your truck stopped abruptly the other day this isn't the truck no so my honda element three weeks ago the <laughs> Oh, um, the control arm broke and it is still broke sitting in my driveway. So I bought a truck for a meantime vehicle and it stopped abruptly on Wednesday night. And so we parked that and the vehicle that we were going to sell and get rid of mm-hmm. um, is now my backup vehicle. And yes. it stopped abruptly this morning on the way to work. And I'm like, it's not user error. I promise. I know how to okay, drive. <laughs> Who's been driving the vehicle every time they've broken down? Okay, it has been me. You or your husband? It's been me. Every time? But maybe it breaks down on him, too, and he just never tells me. Maybe he's just that good of a mechanic, <laughs> maybe, he fixed it on the side of the maybe, road. That could be true. Yeah. Or it could not be true. I, I don't feel like it's a touch. I think it's just like something comes in threes, so uh, this is yes. the third time, and now it's time for things to That's get right. better. That's right, and now it'll never happen again. <laughs> amen, amen. <laughs> I got recruited for Fort Max Got Talent the other night, Steph. Recruited? I, what talent did they want you to yeah, do? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I just finished up a, a side gig at the casino the other night, and lo and behold, on my windshield was these tickets for me to come out to Fort Max Got Talent. Oh, wow, okay. It was at Showgirls. Oh. Um, so. <laughs> Is that a talent of yours I'm unaware of? Maybe. May, yeah, amateur night, you know. Although, I will say. What, on... t-shirt contest? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, they just put these tickets. I think they just want people to come to their place uh, from the casino. Because they're probably, maybe they're hoping people have money from the casino. Mm. And then they uh, they go spend it. But it was a Wednesday night. And it says here, they so they just threw tickets on pretty much everyone's car oh, and that's so how I got not, recruited so I didn't that special. they recruited everyone not just me <laughs> they're like everybody please come but it yeah, says every nice. Wednesday uh, ladies win money competing in the amateur contest and there's up to six hundred dollars to give away wow but uh, the thing that I'm curious about can can dudes compete as well it says ladies win money what can I win money I want to. I want to. I want to win some money. I'm not sure if the clientele would be cheering as loud for you. I can make some dudes they, happy. I can. These hips don't lie. Yeah, but I think they've come to see something else. <laughs> Fine. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I got some heads to turn. Okay. I got something to prove over here. I'll trust you and not show up. <laughs> Oh, man, a new list has come out of emojis that make you look old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Gen Z says uh, in the workplace, essentially, that these ones make them uncomfortable a little bit. And if you do them, you're older. Doesn't it make you just be like, stop making these lists. Can I not just send a (laughs) monkey with his eyes covered and you understand that I'm a little bit nervous about this and I'm sorry, but I need you to do it. Yeah, yeah. The the number one thing that they're, they're complaining about is the thumbs up and how passive aggressive it seems. I get it, actually. Do you? The thumbs up you really... You fall into this. Yeah, it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I've sent you so many thumbs up. <laughs> I know, and I always feel like you're just like, too lazy to type, like, I don't I care. What did I say this morning to him to upset him? <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. It's just like, I am just going to be like, fine, I see you. End of conversation. Yeah. See you when you get here. And maybe that's the thing, is that I, I need to have the last word all of a sudden. <laughs> the thumbs up is the last word. It is the final. Yeah. <laughs> I think... I think the way that um, the younger generation is coming across with this and how they just think like, ah, oh, the thumbs up is just, I don't really like it. I think a more appropriate thing would be maybe like a check mark. I find it interesting that for years we heard that emojis were ruining the English language and we were completely yeah. uh, just, you know, slaughtering all of this hard work of grammar and learning. 
And now Gen Z is like, give me the words. That's what I need. And it's like, oh, did the millennials do this? Are we the ones that ruin the English language? And they're like, please, can I have the English language back? <laughs> yeah. If you're looking to save a little money on your growing list of subscription services, yeah, sign me up. Netflix is now offering a cheaper version of itself. I'm always here for to save money. What does it all include? Okay, so it includes commercials. Uh, I can deal with some commercials. I like I watch cable. All right, it does not include a bunch of their best shows. <laughs> What is the point? It does not include multiple <laughs> screens. So you can only watch one at once. Uh, I can live with, I can live with that with the cheaper cost. And it does not include its regular quality, so it'll be less uh Here's clear. standard deaf commercial filled <laughs> uh watching shows that are 7 years old. Like Yeah, but it's only going to be 5.99. So 6 no. bucks a month instead of 16 for the basic or 20 for multiple screens usually. <laughs> and they're also saying that there'll be four to five minutes of commercials per hour. Per hour. And no matter if you're watching a show or a movie. A movie. It'll be stopping in the middle. Nope. And there'll be 15 to 30 no. seconds each ad. I'm lost. So. <laughs> no, I love saving money. I'm frugal as heck, but you lost me there. If I'm watching a movie, it's like it's like the trailers at the start when you're at the theater. Put them there. At the end of the movie, put them there. I'm digesting the film, whatever. I can. But if you put it during, you lost me. Okay, so do you feel like you'd rather watch cable than this? Oh, I'm, I'm still a big cable. I've always been a cable advocate because sports. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather pay $14 more a month for Netflix that doesn't have the commercials in it than this? Yeah, yeah. See, that's the thing. I'll pay for quality if I can have it like tailored to my way. So I'll, I'll happily, but I still, I do. I, I pay the 20 bucks right now and I can just kind of get in my own zone and go at it. Yeah, I wonder if this is like the beginning of the end. If they're like, you know what? Cable was actually onto something yeah. with these ads. <laughs> and then we're all just like, well, I'm paying this much, this much, this much for six different streaming yes. services. Maybe I should just get cable again. And then we're going to have a Netflix channel and yeah. a Prime channel yes. and Discovery Plus. Oh, we already do have a Discovery Plus yeah, channel. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like, well, for it's all coming full circle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Came across a fun TikTok just the other night, Steph. And I want to put not only you to the test, but anyone who is listening right now, wherever you're at, you can also play along with it, okay? Okay. It's a little psychological test to kind of see what state of frame your brain is in. Okay. All right? <laughs> Do I have to share the answer at the end? It's simple. It's simple. <laughs> okay. It's nothing wild or anything. And so I'm just going to ask you a quick rapid fire easy questions and then just answer them as they come to mind and then I'll play the the psychological the the psychiatrist whoever is at the end the explanation of your answers okay, okay? I'm ready all right what is one plus one two two plus two four four plus four eight eight plus eight sixteen now as quick as you can name the first vegetable that comes to mind carrot all right, here we go. If you said carrot, your brain works the same as about 90% of people who play this game. <laughs> and if you answered a different vegetable, your brain probably continues to stay in independent thinking even when somebody else tries to lull you into simple thought patterns. So you fall into the 90% of people that also say carrot after doing a bunch of simple mathematical equations like that. Interesting. Yeah. Did you say carrot as No, well? I didn't. What? I, I said tomato, and I don't even think that's a vegetable. It's not. Oh, my gosh. What does that say about you? I don't know. I don't, under, I don't comprehend things well, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I was having a conversation with a wise lady a couple of years ago, and we were, I was chatting about making spaghetti, and I was just going through like the whole process I was doing. And then I mentioned that I snap it in half, and then I throw it into my boiling water, and she stopped me instantly and said, stop doing that. And I was shocked. A wise lady. I think she's wise just because it's way better when it's long. But did she have like a, a specific reason? Uh, I think she said like it takes away from the, the, the I don't want to say the flavor because spaghetti doesn't really have like flavor. <laughs> but just like the texture of it all ruins it a little bit. And I was like, oh, interesting. Haven't really noticed. And yes, no, I'm very curious. How do you make your spaghetti stuff? I absolutely don't snap it. 
Do you do you, whenever you do create create pasta? Whenever you make pasta, <laughs> um, do you cook it in a big enough pot where you can just it all is in the water, or is some in the water and is some hanging out? Um, I cook it in a nearly big enough pot that it does not take longer than a minute or so for it to be able to fit inside. Okay. The See, because this is this is the other thing that I run into sometimes. Like sometimes I use like a smaller pot and half of if I didn't snap it, half of it would be hanging out and then I just feel like that's rude to have some of it in there and some of it not because then it's not all cooking at the same time. Right. But then sometimes I'll use a bigger one. Uh, but I always just snap it. I think that you are not realizing that there are so many other shapes of pasta you could buy to not have to alter the spaghetti. True. Like you could get fusilli, you could get fettuccine. No, fettuccine is the same problem. But Still like long. rigatoni, penny. Yeah. There's so many options. Yeah. I just don't know why you want to ruin a good thing <laughs> with spaghetti. But and then, but 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 then when you're eating it, aren't you? You're like biting off the long strands anyway. So the shorter strands come in to help when you're eating the spaghetti. Have you ever ordered spaghetti in a restaurant? I don't think so. I think, no, I don't think so, actually. When you do, they give you a life hack of a spoon. Oh, yeah. So there's a spoon in the bowl with the spaghetti, and you know what it's for? You just stab your fork in, put the spoon underneath, and you roll and use it as a tool, and then all of the spaghetti is beautifully wrapped around your fork, and you're like, wow, I don't have to snap spaghetti ever again because they've given me this great tool, and Guess what? I've got 12 of them in the drawer. I can do this at home. I too have the That tool. sounds sloppy though, and that just sounds like a mouthful when you put that much in your mouth. Opposite of sloppy, and you only put like two noodles on the fork when you go to You just need some training, no, Sean. No. Buy no. some other pasta, you're an abomination. <laughs> go with the penne. Lori, it's Stefan Sean from Mixed Mornings. Oh my God! See, I told you I was gonna win. Just kidding. You did win! Congratulations! <laughs> Spoiler alert! That's so cool! Thank you. <laughs> you are now the proud owner of two tickets to the Keanu College Gala, a Platinum Hydrofacial from Layers Wellness and Spa, a three hundred dollar gift card to Cobia Salon and Store, as well as a three hundred dollar gift card to Drop Dead Darlings. Congratulations! Yay! Thank you. <laughs> Have you ever been to any of those places like Layers Wellness or Cobia or Drop Dead Darlings yet? I've been to the Drop Dead Darling store. Oh, have you eyed um, up any of the outfits? Any of, no, oh. I actually already have an outfit. I bought one during COVID. Because <laughs> oh. I was like, I'm like, you know, one day there won't be COVID and I will have an outfit. <laughs> that is okay because Drop Dead Darlings or, has overcoats. They have accessories. Yeah, they have beautiful clothes there. So yeah, they could maybe do... I'll get two. Who knows? <laughs> hey, you could do an out- You could be one of those people who does the outfit change halfway through the event. It's like, <laughs> Oh my you God! See me in this dress. How about it's this real one? Real dramatic. <laughs> and you deserve it too, because you got a huge um, experience package here. So congratulations! Oh, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for listening. You're great. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy. Want more of today's show? Download the Mixed Mornings and More podcast. Now available every weekday.